Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover how to make a drill hole map and view the map in Surfer's 3D view. Surfer can easily import drill hole data to generate a 2D drill hole layer that shows the location, deviation, and path of each hole, core, or well. You can view the path in a 2D map view and then visualize the drill hole in true 3D along with its data content. Drill hole paths, data points, and intervals can be displayed and colorized by data values. The data to create a drill hole layer requires a colors table. Optionally, you can add survey, interval, and point data. Let's take a look at how to set up these data now. Caller's data should have information about the drill hole, such as hole ID, east x coordinate, north y coordinate, and elevation. The hole ID, east x, and north y coordinate fields are required for this table type. A caller's table is required unless you import an LAS log ASCII file as interval and point data. Survey data is optional. If used, it should have information about the orientation of the drill hole, such as hole ID, depth, azimuth, and inclination. Only the hole ID is a required field for this table. You might choose to include this data if your wells are not straight vertical wells. Interval and point data is optional. If used, it should have point data traveling down hole and one or more data files such as a DAT or LAS file. Importing interval or point data will allow you to apply color to a drill hole map in the 3D view. To create a drill hole map, click Home, New Map, Specialty, Drill Hole. Click Browse to select your colors table and if using Survey, interval or point data, click browse and add to add these data as well. After loading all the data, click next to open the drill hole data import dialog. A drill hole data import dialog will appear for each data file selected to be imported. If needed, review the table type and input file fields to determine which data the source fields were pulled from. Each drill hole data import dialog will contain a source section, which shows the names of the columns in the imported data in the name column and an example of the data in the description column. Below this section are the fields for the specific table type. We are importing the callers table, so we see a callers table fields section. This section is where the data is mapped to specific fields. Required fields will be demarcated with a star. Surfer will auto map the data source fields from the callers table, but this can be updated if needed by clicking the drop down and choosing a new column. Finally, use the units fields to define the units for your source data. Click Next in the Drill Hole Data Import dialog for the Survey Table section. Here we can see the same columns as the Callers table, and Surfer has mapped the columns correctly, so I'll click Next to move on to the next Drill Hole Data Import dialog. The Drill Hole Data dialog is a little different for interval or point data. For these table types, we must toggle which table type we are importing. In this section, we are importing the interval table, so I'll toggle Interval from to Data. Once one option is selected, the associated table fields section will appear. Click the green plus button next to any additional data in the source fields section to import the data, or click the add all fields button to add all data. Additional data can be used for filter conditions. For any additional rows that were added to the table fields section, click the red X button to not import that data. In the next section of Drill Hole Data dialog, we will add our points data. I will toggle the Points Data button, then click the Add All Fields to add all our data. After defining all imported data, the final Drill Hole Data import dialog will appear. 
Under Drill Holes to Display, either click All to use all drill hole data, or click Filter and use the five filter conditions rows to filter the current drill holes to only display a certain group of drill holes. Finally, we can click the Finish button to create our drill hole layer. Once a drill hole layer has been created, you can expand the layer in the Contents window to see each individual well. Data can be viewed and managed in the Drill Hole Manager. Open the Drill Hole Manager from the ribbon by selecting the Drill Hole Layer and clicking Map Tools, Layer Tools, Open Drill Hole Manager. You can learn more about the Drill Hole Manager in our separate Drill Hole Manager training video. Properties for all objects in a drill hole layer can be changed by clicking the Drill Hole Layer in the Contents window and changing the options found on the tabs in the Properties window. On the General tab, click the View button to open the Drill Hole Manager. You can also choose which drill holes to display and view your data sources. We can change the properties for the drill hole symbols on the Symbols tab. The properties for the hole top and hole bottom can be changed independently. If desired, check Show Symbol to show a symbol for the hole bottom. The line properties are changed on the line tab. Uncheck Show Deviation Path to remove the deviation paths or update the line properties as desired. On the Label tab, one or more label sets can be added by clicking Add, then changing the remaining label properties. Properties can be adjusted for individual drill holes by selecting the drill hole in the Contents window then changing the desired properties in the Properties window. Before changing properties, check Override Layer, which can be found at the top of each tab in the Properties window. The drill hole layer can also be viewed in Surfer's 3D view. Open the 3D view by selecting the map and clicking Map Tools, Layer Tools, 3D View. To define 3D drill hole properties, click the drill hole layer in the contents window. If point data were imported in the 2D view, these data can be displayed as point symbols. To display points, click the Show Points checkbox in the Points page in the Properties window. Then select the data to display as the point value from the field list. We can also set the frequency of point symbols to display, change the symbol, sizing method, and color method. Choosing the Buy Data method for sizing and color will use the point data that we imported earlier. If interval data were imported in the Drill Hole Manager in the 2D view, these data can be displayed in colored intervals using the properties on the Intervals tab. To display intervals, check the Show Intervals checkbox. While the interval page has the same options, the look of the drill holes will be much different, even if we use the same settings as we did on the points page. The last method to view the drill hole data in 3D is the path. Drill hole paths can still be displayed even if point and interval data are not imported. We can use the Label Properties to define our paths for identification. Check the Show Labels checkbox to display labels using a field from the Imported Collars table. Label positioning can be adjusted using the Position field or the XYZ Offset fields. The Font Properties and Label Format Properties are also editable. This concludes the video training for drill hole maps in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.